हेलो एवरीवन आप सभी का स्वागत है मेरे चैनल पे तो गए रिसेंटली एक न्यूज़ आई थी कि नासा ने एक नया मटेरियल डेवलप किया है जो कि हाई टेम्परेचर एप्लीकेशन के लिए है और प्रीवियसली जो भी मटेरियल था उनके पास उनसे हंड्रेड टाइम्स सॉरी थाउजेंड टाइम्स स्ट्रांगर है ओके तो ये अलोई के बारे में पढ़ते हैं हम लोग क्या है तो ये जो आ, इसका वेबसाइट है नासा का वहीं पे मैंने देखा सोचा कि ओरिजिनल ऑथेंटिक डेटा यहाँ पे मिलेगा तो नासा इनोवेटर्स रिसेंटली डेवलप्ड न्यू मेटल एलोय यूजिंग थ्री डी प्रिंटिंग प्रोसेस डेट ड्रामेटिकली इम्प्रूव द स्ट्रेंथ एंड ड्यूरेबिलिटी ऑफ द कंपोजिट्स एंड पार्ट्स यूज इन एविएशन एंड एक्सप्लोरेशन रिजल्टिंग इन ए बेटर एंड लॉन्गर लास्टिंग परफॉर्मेंस सो बेसिकली दे हैव यूज थ्री डी प्रिंटिंग ओके and they have also used the simulation okay and this alloy they have named it as grx810 aur ye oxide dispersion strengthen alloy hai which has you know a good property at 2000 degree fahrenheit so this is 2000 degree fahrenheit if you convert it into degree centigrade so it will be around 1093 degree centigrade okay so at that temperature you know it is more malleable and can survive more than 1000 times longer than existing state of the art alloy that means it is 1000 times you know it has the capacity to uh, withstand you know the impact over here so this is a breakthrough so this is basically uh, ods that means oxide dispersion strengthen alloy so here the oxides which are used are the basically nano scale oxide particles which are added in the powders and after that they have done the 3d printing and they have obtained this kind of alloy okay so what are the impact and the benefit of it it will be like suppose it is with it with a standing higher temperature that means the fuel burning and the operation cost will be reduced okay so these are some of the property like as compared to the previous one twice the strength to resist fracturing so fracture resistance is there three and a half times the flexibility to stretch bend prior to fracturing that means significant amount of Uh, ductility is also there more than one thousand times the durability under stress at high temperature. Okay, so this is the main thing. Okay, so they have used additive manufacturing with material modeling. That means with the help of simulation, they have tried to get what is the exact combination or the composition which they require such that they are able to perform. This alloy is able to perform. the best way means at high temperature so they said like after 30 simulation they have got the combination and they have tried and they have made using the 3d printing they also said like earlier days there used to be uh, it, it it used to be very time taking to conclude or to know about the uh, what is the exact com uh, composition which is required to develop this kind of uh, alloy but but today due to material modeling we are able to see it okay and they have given a link to basically watch for some additive manufacturing video if you want to learn regarding this nasa okay so i will just give the link so you can go and watch the full content about this kind of alloy okay so this is it for my side so thanks all